Hey, what is going on guys? This is John, AKA the Fanny Pack Doctor. So I wanna share with you something that happened recently. I was scrolling through my TikTok feed and what I saw was this. So I've been having some neck pain. I had some neck pain. So I just bought this, this neck brace from Target and um, I was wearing it, it's comfortable, whatever. And I pulled up to the drugstore and people were so nice. Okay, no, but just look at me. Just look at what I look like right now. Because just looking at me right now, I feel bad for myself a little bit. Uh, for those of you who don't know her, that's Aquafina. She is uh, a Hollywood actress. She's been in a couple big movies lately. So in the video, she describes some symptoms of having neck pain. And she proceeds to buy a neck brace from a local store uh, which is a very common response for people who have neck pain. A lot of people, when they feel pain, they go ahead and buy supportive devices to make themselves feel better because it gives them a little bit of decompression and it also helps relax the muscles that guard the joint. Now in this video, I wanna share with you some of my findings based on observations of Aquafina in a couple of video clips to find out why exactly I think that she has neck pain. Now, it might be too much to say just based on a couple of observations. For those with neck pain, I'd highly recommend that you follow up with a healthcare professional such as a physical therapist to get an adequate diagnosis of what's going on. So I wanna delve into some reasons why I think Aquafina has neck pain. And then I wanna share with you those reasons because I think that a lot of people may be experiencing neck pain for very similar reasons. Then I'll talk about some of the solutions as to how to address this neck pain. So stay till the end for me to show you some movements and exercises that you can do to help relieve some neck pain. So digging through some of the evidence of the movies that she's in, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a couple of shots. Let's take a look at a clip from The Farewell. which is a recent film, highly recommend watching it. If you can kind of see her here as she's sitting, you can kind of see that there's this uh, slant to her neck in which she um, has a really forward head. You can also see that her shoulders are rolled forward a bit as well. So here's another clip in Jumanji 2. Here you get a real good side profile shot of her and you see that her head is forward compared to her shoulders and that she's got a bit of a roundedness to her upper back. Now Aquafina, if you're watching this, I hope that you find some of my observations and tips helpful. None of it is meant to be offensive and none of it is meant to attack your character. I believe that you're doing great work and I hope to be able to help you through my own expertise. Feel free to reach out to me through my email address on my YouTube page. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and talk a bit about what we're observing here. So this is called upper cross syndrome. This is when the muscles in the back of the neck called the levators are excessively tight. They actually pull the head forward into this position leading to additional compression along the cervical spine. And we also see a forward shoulder position where the pecs basically essentially pull the shoulders forward. And we see this pretty commonly in most people nowadays because we all have a desk job to some extent or another and we are always using some sort of electronic device. So a lot of people are using a mobile device and they'll be looking forward and down. You don't want to prolong some of these postures. So this first stretch is the levator stretch. So we're targeting muscle fibers over here. Start off by putting your arm behind your back of the side that you want to stretch. And then you're gonna look down towards your armpit of the opposite arm. Then place your hand on top of your head and you're just gonna feel a gentle pull. 
I want you to hold this stretch for 30 seconds. I highly recommend that you use a timer just to make sure that you stretch for the full 30 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and start the timer. Again, nose to the armpit, place your hand on top of your head. All right, after 30 seconds, go ahead and switch sides. So arm behind the back of the side that you want to stretch. And then look down towards your armpit. Place your hand on top of your head. And then start the timer. Hold for 30 seconds. If you start feeling any pain in the middle of the stretch, go ahead and back off a little bit and put less pressure through your hand. All right? Awesome. Look, a dog. All right, so right here for the next stretch, we're gonna be focused on stretching the pec minor. Uh, what you're gonna do is go ahead and get a t-shirt or a towel and then roll it up. Then you're going to find a place in the wall such as this where there's an opening to the side. Place the towel or a t-shirt in front of your shoulder. Rest it right here by the edge. And just kind of lean in. Then you're going to squeeze your shoulder blade and turn out to the side. Okay, and then go ahead and time yourself for 30 seconds. Hold it here. If you start to feel any numbness or tingling going down the arm, go ahead and slide your hand down the wall a little bit. So you should be feeling that in the front of the chest. Okay, after 30 seconds, go ahead and switch sides. So we won't take the time to count down for the other side. Go ahead and pause the video to finish the exercise if you need time. All right, so the next exercise is called the chin tug. And what we're going to be targeting are these deep neck flexors inside of the neck. And what they do is they help to realign your neck so that your neck posture is better. So first you're going to go ahead and draw your chin towards your Adam's apple. And you essentially give yourself a double chin. Nice. You should be feeling some tension in the back of the neck where it's stretching out the suboccipitals and also some muscle activation up in the front of your throat. Hold for five seconds. And relax. And repeat this one 20 times. And then we're gonna go ahead and get a side view of this. So this next exercise, we're going to be focused on getting your shoulders back and getting some of those muscles that stabilize your shoulder blades in the back to become a little bit stronger and tighter. So first, you're going to go ahead and sit upright. Then you're going to squeeze in between your shoulder blades by bringing your shoulders back. And then what I like to do is typically turn your arms out at the same time. So externally rotate your shoulders. Hold that there for five seconds and relax. Squeeze. And relax. And squeeze. 
It's very important for this exercise that you don't bring your shoulders up. So try to pinch a pencil in between your shoulder blades. Again, that's five second hold, 20 repetitions. And you should be feeling that in the back in between your shoulder blades and also feel a little stretch in the front side of the chest. You can actually just do this in front of your workstation or if you're just watching TV and you wanna make sure that you reset your posture, do this every so often. So go ahead and take some time to do the stretches mentioned in the video and uh, let me know how it goes in the comments below. I hope that you learned something new today and that I made you feel better. I will see you guys next week. <laughs> get some let's go get some of that probiotic in there. Available at your next closest Japanese market. Yes. This video is not sponsored by the aforementioned product. Uh, are we still rolling? <laughs>